Hey Gratuitous here from itsgratuitous.com. I wanna make a quick video about getting started with the M Audio Oxygen Pro in FL Studio. We're just gonna quickly talk about the bugs when you're first starting, how to fix those for a permanent fix, and then you can get up and running with this Oxygen Pro in FL Studio for a really, really good experience, okay? All right, so this is a quick presentation. So out of the box, these were the problems. So the transport buttons, and what are the transport buttons? That's your stop, your play, your record, back a bar, forward a bar, and not all MIDI keyboards have the loop button, and the Oxygen Pro does, and it switches between song and pattern mode. So stop is stop and reset, play is play and pause, record enables and disables record, back a bar, forward a bar, and then changes between song and pattern mode is that loop button, okay? So for the transport buttons, out of the box, sometimes they are intermittent. So in other words, if you press play, it will play and pause right away. So how we fix that is you have to set tempo sync to external. And we do that through the M Audio Oxygen Pro preset editor. It's free by M Audio. Just search it, you know, search into a search engine. You download it. You have to set the source to external and then you can send a template in. But if you don't want to do any figuring out, I have a premium template which you can just purchase. It's nice and affordable. You simply install it and you don't have to do any figuring out. But that's one of the issues is you just have to make sure you set tempo sync to external and then the Oxygen Pro's uh, transport buttons are no longer in, uh, you know, intermittent. They are rock solid. Okay. Now the next thing is the Oxygen Pro help manual talks about using the Mackie Control Universal as a controller type. but for me, that did not change the loop button uh, to switch between song and pattern mode. And for me, that's the default operation that I know FL Studio. So I want that, you know, I want that workflow. So what I did was I created a free MIDI script and that's totally free. You can download it on my website, just in my help area. You will be able to see a uh, download Oxygen Pro MIDI script. You just download it. And then what that does is it gets the transport buttons working for normal operation in regards to the loop button switching between song and pattern mode, okay? So again, the first one here was the, you just wanna make sure you set tempo sync to external. You just do it once. You can do that through the Oxygen Pro preset editor. And then these are rock solid. Then if you want normal operation in regards to, you know, stop, play, record, and the loop button switching between song and pattern mode, then you just simply install my free MIDI script, okay? All right, and then um, the last thing you need to know about the Oxygen Pro is you have to be in preset mode. So when you first turn on the Oxygen Pro, it's gonna be in DAW mode, just hit preset mode, and that's it. So a quick recap. So preset button, tempo sync is external, and my free MIDI script switches between song and pattern mode. And that is how you get up and running nice and quick for a really rock solid experience. I just have one more slide here for if you want the best experience in FL Studio, okay? Because I have been working with this Oxygen Pro since 2001. I'm making this video around May 2024, and I'm still having really good experience with it. But since that time, I have released um, a cool drum pad workflow, which I'll talk a little bit quickly. All right, so for the best FL Studio experience with the M Audio Oxygen Pro, Again, set tempo sync to external. We do this with a template. You can create your own template. You just set uh, the source to be external and you send that preset into the Oxygen Pro. And then on the Oxygen Pro itself, you simply just hold down the preset button and then your presets can be navigated with the push to knob, um, knob here. And then you push it in to select it. And then your preset loads, like your actual drum pads will change colors and then um, your tempo sync should not be blinking. If it's blinking, it's an internal. If it's not blinking, you are external, okay? And then again, you can install a free MIDI script to get your transport buttons, the song and pattern mode for normal operation, which will switch between uh, song and pattern mode, okay? And then I just wanna quickly talk about my premium preset for FL Studio. So it's called the M Audio Oxygen Pro FL Studio Template by Gratuitous. And if you, if you go this approach, you have no figuring out, like you don't have to, you know, create your own template or anything. You just use my simple template to install it and you can get a drum pad navigation experience. So I'll quickly say that the, you know, my premium template, it comes with two versions. So version one, what it does is it gives you just normal operation in FL Studio. I'll just load it up here. You can see it's all orange drum pads. So you can use these for like your kicks, your claps, your hi-hats. If you want normal operation in FL Studio, it just gets you set up, all right? But for myself, when I make beats, I use my keys and my transport buttons. I don't use the drum pads. So what I did was FL Studio started to create 
um, or started to allow us to do what's called MIDI scripting. And so I started to take advantage of that for hands-on navigation in FL Studio. Let me just quickly load up FL Studio here. Now, I just wanna repeat, you don't have to follow this drum pad workflow. Like I said, you can just install uh, version one of my premium preset. It gets you up and running for normal operation in FL Studio. But if you want to follow this cool drum pad workflow, and I really, really like it. You know, I've been using FL Studio for many years. It just saves me from going to my mouse a lot. I can kind of keep my hands when I'm making beats. So we can go to the channel rack, with these arrows right here. So channel rack, mixer, the white one does the browser. So the browser is to go over to the left and you can see I can navigate my sounds. I can add sounds into the channel rack. So I can close this pop-up by hitting this button right here to close. And now I can focus into the channel rack and I can either open that up back or I can go back to the channel rack, leave it open. I can go to Nexus or I can go back to that window. I can close it. I'm going to go to Nexus Okay, so again, I'm gonna to go to the channel rack, go to Nexus, open it up. This is just a, you know, a rompler. I can change my preset. Let's go up here a little more. Oops, closed it. Let's reopen it. <laughs> kind of a weird sound. Let's get something a little more powerful. Okay, I can turn up my volume. And then again, if you're done, you hit, you know, you, you hit record, you hit play, you recorded that, you can disable record, you can close it, you can now, you know, go to your next whatever, you can change your patterns right from here. Now, let's say we want to get hands on mixing, I can go to my mixer, I can navigate the inserts, let's say on this master, you can see I have three plugins, the Pro C2, uh, the Pro L2, and the Classic Clipper. These top ones allow you to open up plugins, either previous plugins or the next plugin. So let's just open up Pro C2. You can see I can get my hands on. And like I was saying before, you now get my global links file, which you can see it's blue. I have set up these supported plugins and you can also visit my supported plugins on my help area there. These supported plugins allow you to get the hands on experience, specifically more fab filter plugins, but they give me a really, really cool experience. Again, I can uh, open up the next plugin. Again, we can get the hands on again. I go to, to the next plugin. Again, we get the hands on. You can see the volumes changing. And again, you just hit this button to close plugins, okay? All right, so let's just kind of quickly go back. So again, if you have any questions about my M Audio Oxygen Pro experience here, I really, really enjoy it. I've had a lot of fun. It just makes FL Studio more, a little more hands-on. Um, and like I said, I've been teaching FL Studio for many, many years. I've tried many different uh, MIDI keyboards over the years. I think the price point for the Oxygen Pro is very fair, very, very jam-packed. Again, if M Audio is watching this video, if they come out with a Generation 2, the only, th the only improvement I would like is for the knobs to be what's called endless encoders so that when we switch between banks, we don't have what's called soft takeover because if you're in bank one and then the plugin parameter is set up a certain way, then you go to bank two, the knob has to reach the soft takeover value in order to kick in. And it gives a kind of a bit of a poor experience. If these are endless encoders, as soon as you switch a bank, you'd be good to go. But it still gives a pretty good experience, all right? And if you have any questions, feel free to send me an email. In terms of, you know, does it work good in FL Studio? Just simply follow the um, tempo sync needs to be external. The Free MIDI script gets the transport button working normal. And then when you turn on the Oxygen Pro, just make sure it's in preset mode. Um, and then again, when you open up FL Studio, if you have my premium template, you can get this hands-on experience. Or if you just load up version one, it just gives you just a rock solid basic MIDI keyboard that just works really good in FL Studio. So I hope you enjoy. If you have questions, feel free to send me an email at hi at itsgratuitous.com. And I hope you enjoy.